Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Slightly different video today. Uh, today's a haul video as yesterday I made either the greatest decision of my life or the worst decision of my life and I visited Muji. Uh, Muji, if you're not familiar with it, is a chain of Japanese uh, stores uh, worldwide uh, and they sell sort of unbranded uh, economical products uh, with as little packaging as possible and no bells and whistles and just sort of really decent products uh, at really decent prices. And the stationery department is considered to be rather interesting. So I was passing by and I decided to go in. So I went to the store in the Melbourne CBD uh, in the David Jones uh, Emporium. The stationery setup isn't huge there and there were a few products I was hoping that they would have that they didn't. For instance, I was really hoping that they may have had one of their uh, models of fountain pen uh, and also the portable scissors. Um, I'll just put photos of those both here. So, but what I did get was some really interesting paper and pen products and so let's start the haul. We'll start at the smallest and this is the um, passport size uh, notebook, uh, notepad. Uh, it's in the navy colours, a few different colours with different sort of uh, paper ruling options and I got the dot uh, grid uh, form. Nice little faint dots. Um, it's you know stitched bound and it's pretty sturdy and nice cover and it's really quite cool. Um, $1.95, really reasonably priced. Um, so yeah, really first thing I picked up and first thing I was really impressed with. After that I got a range of the uh, black or grey uh, notepads. Start here with the A6 which is in a 5mm grid uh, rule uh, and that was $1.20. Then there's the B6 5mm uh, graph grid ruled, uh, which is a really nice size, uh, and you know, 30 pages and stitch bound, and this was all of a dollar sixty. And then the bigger size is uh, the B5. B5 is my sort of favourite preferred paper size for sort of note uh, pads recently, uh, and once again, 30 pages, five millimeter graph rule. It's really nice and a nice size feels durable nice sort of heavy cardstock on the covers and the paper is nice and smooth so and that was only a dollar sixty so really reasonably priced for this range uh, now I have a couple of look at a couple of pens and pencils that, uh, that I got we'll start with is a uh, 2b pencils now there were six in this packet three of them have already been um, distributed including one here on my desk nice and sort of sharpened. They're really pretty decent pencils really. They write nice and dark and smooth and um, you know no f flashy sort of you know finishes on them just sort of basically a basic wood grain and they're all pretty well centered you know and yeah for $2.50 for six pencils pretty happy with that too. Next we have uh, the the sharp pencil mechanical pencil here uh, which is in a 0.5 I normally prefer a 0.7 um, but uh, they don't do a 0.7 it seems so I got the 0.5 uh, at the moment it's got the HB lead that came in it and um, I also bought a pack of those leads um, I have to get some 0.52 B leads for it uh, but uh, I thought I'd just get those while they were there this is really nice. It's got this really sort of nice um, grip section, which is quite heavy in comparison to the rest of the pencil. So it sort of feels nice in the hand. It's nicely weighted, as I said. It's called. It's known as the um, low center of gravity because that weight is down there. So it, the writing is really nice and smooth and easy. So the pencil cost uh, seven ninety five, and can't remember how much the leads cost, uh, but they weren't terribly expensive if just actually have the receipt here they were the leads were 2.95 uh for it says 40 so that's 
Once again, these prices are really, really very good. Okay, next we have the polycarbonate ballpoint pen. I got this in the 0.7. I've got a couple of these actually, uh, and in black. I try to carry a ballpoint pen with me wherever I go, and these got a pretty good wrap, so I thought I'd pick up a couple, and they're nice. Like, the clip's soft, and the, the grip is sort of smooth, but rubbery, so it's got enough sort of grip there for the pet, you know, for when you're holding it. It's 0.7, which I like. Um, and so, yeah, at at uh, 195 each, they're pretty decently priced. Before we go back to some other paper products, this is another uh, pen-related product I got. It's the highlighter. These are cool. Um, so I've got the yellow one, obviously. There's a range of colours they, they come in, uh, and they only cost $1.50 each. But what's cool about these highlighters is, is they've got two ends. So you've got your finer point, uh, which they say for you know, underlining or more precise highlighting. And then they've got the more wide sort of chisel point end. Uh, but it's got that clear window, so you can actually see through it and see what you're highlighting as you as you go, which I think is a really cool touch. They're not as um, saturated as some other brands of highlighter that I like, uh, but for sort of everyday highlighting, you can't really go wrong for $1.50 each. Something a little bit different, um, I've been doing a little bit of sort of art and sketching recently, so I got the postcard size sketchbook. Um, it's interesting, you know, it's got 20 pages of perforated paper, this little ribbon. Uh, the paper's not the highest quality, it's it but it's sort of better than uh, drawing in sort of a regular notebook. Um, I'll be putting this, this through some tests to uh, to sort of see just how much it can handle in terms of in terms of wet media. Um, I have no doubt that with dry media and with basic ink, it wouldn't uh, like a uh, like a fine liner pen, it would hold up pretty well. But I want to see how it sort of goes with you know ink washes and things like that and watercolor just to see. Uh, and at five ninety five, it's pretty well priced. Double coil bound, you know, set hardcover little ribbon to hold it closed. Um, as you can see, it's one hundred and fifty by one hundred millimeters, so it's good sort of postcard size. I got these. These are these are interesting. So these are cotton paper uh, cards, message cards, cards and postcards. Um, I got the message cards because I thought they might be an interesting um, variant for ink uh, swatch cards. Uh, that same sort of business card sort of size. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the cards I've been using. When I say that, these are still only a dollar fifty for uh, thirty-five of them, um, and they're really nice quality. The postcard size you get ten for a dollar fifty, and the cotton paper is really nice to write on. Um, I've done. I took one each of each out to do a little writing card sample, um, but I thought I'd use these also for watercolor and ink sort of art and things like that. Uh, I've been looking for postcard size sheets for that. Here's the uh, the message card size and with Waterman Serenity blue, um, and it doesn't bleed through. There's no feathering on the writing, um, and you get lots of lots of sheen. Uh, and here is the, uh, the postcard size. The water's still drying. I decided to do a little bit of a water uh, test. Um, once again, lots of sheen, no feathering. I think it, it, it is the same paper as the other one, of course. Uh, and the, where, the, where I put the water down, it's not come through at all either. So these might perform really nicely for, um, yeah, a little bit of sort of artwork and ink swatches and things like that. The next paper product I got is the um, A5 notebook with a six millimeter lined rule. I bought this for a particular project that I'm working on. I wanted a, a soft cover sort of A5 no line notebook. And when I saw this, I thought it was absolutely perfect. Um, it's It lays reasonably flat. It's stitched and then cloth bound. Um, and you know, it's not fancy. There's no, as I said, no bells or whistles or anything like that, uh, but it's, Got 72 pages, good A5 size. Once again, that sort of nice, really sturdy cardstock cover. And if it's the same paper as all the other products, it's going to perform really, really well, as you'll see later. And this was only $6.95. So 
you know, to buy a, a soft cover Leuchtturm or something like that, you don't get as many pages um, in this size, and it's a little bit more expensive. So I thought, well, why not give this a try for that uh, project I'm doing? Then we get to the biggest uh, item, I, physically the biggest item I bought. Uh, it is an A4 craft notebook. Craft is the the name of the cover, like like these were the grey notebooks. These are the craft. Um, good sturdy cardstock cover, you know, stitch and then cloth bound, um, seven meter millimeter line rule, and three ninety five. Let's just quickly cover the most important part of a Muji stationery haul, and that is the gel pens. Now, I had not used uh, these pens before, as I said, I'd never been in the store. I'd read little reviews of the Muji gel pens, and people just raved about them, so I thought, well, I better get a few just to see what they're about. So I got the finest and the, and the widest uh, I could in black for sort of standard writing. And then I got a couple of others just for fun. So I got a, the orange in 3.8, the red in 0 0.7, um, the blue in 0 0.5, and this sort of nice greeny sort of color in 0 0.5 as well. Um, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I particularly love the 0 0.7 pens. I think they write really smoothly. They write nice and wet. Uh, the fives are fine and the 3.8s, obviously have their purpose. They're a little bit too fine for me, a little bit sort of scratchy perhaps, uh, just because they're so fine. You know, 0.38 is pretty slim, you know. Um, when you talk about a fine point ballpoint pen, it's normally the 0.5. So 0.38, it's another third, almost sort of slimmer again. We'll do a little writing uh, sample of those in just a second after I look at this final product that I bought, which is just the, uh, the Craft A6. Uh, note pad which is in the six millimeter line ruled. I bought this with the sole purpose of um, using it for testing the paper. So I've done a couple of basic tests here, not sort of the same as I would normally for a notebook review, but Aurora Black and Apollo Metropolitan, a few of the Muji gel pens, Walden Pond Blue, just as if we got any sheen, and yep, we get some nice sheen on that, but that ink sheen's on anything. Um, uh, a pencil, at that point it was the, the Daiso um, markers pencil, which is a, a rectangular lead, Unipin Fineliner, Noodles Lexington Grey, uh, Mont Blanc Irish Green in a Twisby Medium, uh, Waterman Serenity Blue in the um, Pilot Parallel 3.8, and as you can see we've got some sheen, uh, that red sheen sort of coming through, which is very cool, um, and then Noodles Base State Blue, my well, you know, that ink that I use to just test out any uh, book, really nothing came through. The parallel only popped through at one tiny point, and base state blue didn't come through at all. So that's really uh, impressive. Um, I'm really super impressed, I've got to say. Um, it's, you know, it's not heavy, heavy paper. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, the sort of GSM is, but it's... It, performs really, really well. Here you can see I did the little um, test of the, the gel pens just to sort of see how they all wrote in comparison. Uh, and what I thought I'd do is I'll quickly do a quick writing sample with the blacks because I have the 3.8 and the 0.7 um, just so you can see them in action and see the paper in action. So Zero point seven, nice thick black line, beautiful black actually, um, and smooth, really smooth, really nice, sort of comfortable to write with. They're light, they're sort of plasticky, of course. <laughs> they're they're ballpoint pens, and they cost a dollar, what a dollar fifty each. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Now we get the uh, the point three eight. As you can hear, it's a little more scratchy. It's a little, um, you know, it's very, very fine. You can see the difference between um, the two 
pens there. It's pretty, pretty marked. Last little thing I'm going to do, uh, by the way, this notebook was like the, uh, the, cra the gray version. This was only $1.20. Um, prices are amazing. Uh, just grabbed, uh, my platinum preppy fountain pen here, which was just the, the nearest thing on my desk. Uh, just inked with the black. I think this is the medium. I thought I'd just do a quick uh, fountain pen writing sample and a little bit of an abuse test and sort of see how we, how we go. Okay, so what I've done is, uh, obviously I've written, just did a, a basic sort of line, a little wetness thing, so it's not super absorbent paper, which is nice, and then sort of a heavy uh, little ink uh, scribble, um, and let's see how we go. So, okay, so yeah, the ink scribbles come through a little bit, but I was putting down quite a lot of ink on the same spot there, but the writing really nothing comes through, and it's actually nice sort of smooth paper uh, to to write on. Um, yeah, the preppies aren't the wettest pen, obviously, uh, but they do lay down a decent amount of ink, and this has performed really, really well. So I've got to say, I've got to rate this as pretty fountain pen friendly paper. Anyway, uh, that wraps up my uh, Muji haul video here today. Yeah, if you if you live near a store, go check it out. If you've not, they're pretty awesome. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to drop me a message. Uh, you can do that either here on YouTube, at my blog, on Instagram or Twitter, which are all uh, linked down below. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.